tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. To leave a callback number, press 5. John McAfee, I just wanted to call uh, and tell you that I'm, I'm doing fine. And um, just make sure your kids have dexamethasone in case they are bitten by snakes or poisoned by the Sinaloa cartel. It's a good thing to have. Hey, good morning. How are you, hon? I'm doing good. How about you? I am doing good. Uh, I have a, 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 um, a videographer who is recording and reporting on what happened. Uh, do you mind if they just record my conversation with you? They won't use your name or number or anything. Okay, not a problem. Good. So, so anyway, um, <clears throat> first and foremost, I, I would like to thank you again for... Uh, for saving my life, and um, you and Janice, um, when they when they uh, uh, when they took me to your safe house, I was certainly not in very good shape. Um, and yeah, I, uh, I know. pardon? I know, and I'm sorry. You are you are being in such excruciating pain. Well, things are getting better now, actually. Um, the, uh, the, 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 the thing I'd like you to talk about is, is basically the, um, you know, what, what condition I was in when I, uh, when I arrived there. They, they brought me there and I, I was, you know, half in consciousness, half out of consciousness uh, for quite a while. Um, you know, you, you... Yeah, yes, I know that. I saw it. I saw it. I saw you And you, you, you know, you were, you were cleaning up all, all, the, all the... All these spots were showing up all over my body and uh, and bleeding, and you know you you yes, took yes. and you took care of that, uh, and of course the. Uh, did they did they actually heal for you? Is yes, that that part is gone. I'm, I'm not I'm not bleeding through any part of my body now except except my arm. I'm still urinating blood and I'm still passing blood uh, through my rectum, but other than that I'm fine. But those those spots have stopped, which worried me the most. So. Um, and and um, the, the spots were, were very interesting. They would just come up and then bleed profusely um, and, then, and then quit. So that, that was such an unusual situation. But in any case, when... That was really like, and it's an all over your body was. Yes, all, all, of, your, all of my body. Your I, I was, arms, your legs, your face. Yes, I was, face, my face, was, everything. Yeah. I was bleeding through my whole body. Um, the... Jeez. The, but, you know, you, you did save my life. I want you to know that. And when they delivered Janice to the safe house, mm -hmm. I knew I was going to be okay. Between the two of you, I knew you were not going to let me expire. Yeah. I knew you needed proper care, and we couldn't provide a proper care for you. you well, I, and, and you know for a fact I could not go to a hospital or a doctor. That would be the end, right? They, they would be looking for me. Yes. <laughs> so. I know. Care, but at least you know with uh, you're recovering right now and uh, with all the spots was showing up it's like I was absolutely worried I was like oh my gosh so you you got back safely right so you you have people send you from here and oh yeah I've, we, we had we had more security than the president coming back <laughs> that was that was easy <laughs> so no and and then and then Yes, I do. I have, I have, I have a trusted, a trusted doctor that that will say nothing to anyone about anything, um, and, and I'm safe and secure with them. All right. Okay. Oh my gosh, I was like seriously worried. Especially, what about your fever? You are, uh, you don't have fever anymore, right? Well, it, it's it's weird. What whatever happened, my 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 fever still fluctuates wildly from 85 degrees. To 105 degrees, but but it's okay. Oh it's a, it's okay. I'm I'm assured by the doctor that this will pass. All right. Thank you so much, hon, and I will keep you informed on my you're, progress. You're welcome. Keep me updated, please. And, I will. Uh, we are make sure when you go to China, you are safe. Thank you very much. All right. Goodbye, sweetheart.
spoke, you mentioned that there was a, a select team of the GSU uh, that was to, to make sure that I was not captured alive. Are you certain yeah. of that? Well, yep. The word on the, word on the street was that to bring you in dead, bring your head in. Well, that's interesting. The, the, the interesting they would choose the GSU to do it, I guess. Um, yeah. But in any case, so it's, it's near my birthday. Belize is sending people up here to harass me in, in, um, in ways that are not quite comfortable. Um, do you think that Zabine could broker a meeting between me and, I, I know who it is, and every time I call him to complain about sending hit squads up here, he convinces me to apologize to him for suggesting it's him. <laughs> He's, he is one <laughs> clever motherfucker. Calling uh, John Zabine who, according to the, uh, um, the U.S. Justice Department, is a wanted man for uh, drug crimes, uh, a, a number of serious offenses. Um, he's an extremely important person in Belize. Um, if what they say about Mr. Zapane is true, and he is the head Sinaloa cartel operator in Belize, nothing happens in yeah. Belize that he doesn't know about. Mr. Zabine, how are you doing today, sir? Good day, good day. How is it? Well, it's good with me. Okay, so you talk, certainly, we all know this is a very powerful man, uh, and certainly no one in their right mind would want to cross, but he, had, he also said that you're a very honest man. Um, and so uh, I did what you said, and uh, so there you have it. So I am, I'm even more inclined to believe that you are not, not involved in this. However, um, no, 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 I would never, never, never right. get involved in that kind of no, no, I understand, no. So, However, we know who you are and, and we know that the power and control you have, you do know who it is and, and I know who it is and we've even talked about it. Uh, you said if I'll just sit, sit still for a while, they will, they will have no power and, and that is the government. However, the government is, is a, a very large thing. You know, it's, uh, I mean, there are any number of possibilities from John Saldiver running some operation to, to anybody else. I would like to talk to these people. I really would. And, and, and see if I just can straighten this out. Because this is every year around my birthday, I have to deal with this crap. People show up in my country with these, with these massively sophisticated schemes of collecting me. Uh, but I would love to sit down with these people. And, and, and I believe, sir, that you could help me do that. With these people in government right now? Yes. I, I, I don't think so, John. Really, honestly, oh, I don't think so. These people have so much problems of their own that there is that so much corruption is being... Um, All right. Well, the, 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 so, so, so what you're telling me is my only option is just to sit still until they go out of power. That's what I say. That's what I'm saying, and... They are right now campaigning for the municipal elections and it is believed and it looks like they will want to call the general elections the same time with the municipal yes. election. And All right. it's not well, making I, room I, for them, I can I, tell I, you that. I know for a fact that the, the people of Belize have never been uh, more unsatisfied. Nobody's happy. Everybody is... is Nobody is happy. Pardon? Nobody's happy here. Nobody. Yeah, it is, but but not but not recently, sir. You know, nobody has jobs. The economy is bad, um, and and so they are, the, they, are the only, they are the only happy ones. They they, they they are the only happy ones. Well, of course, because they've they, stolen they, everything from everybody else, sir. Here's something. Yeah, I, here's yeah. something I never told you. When I when I moved to Orange Walk, I mean, there are all these horror stories about what I may or may not have done. Mothers would bring their children to me. Why? Because the first article in Belize about me called me Dr. McAfee, because I have a Doctor of Science degree. Mothers would bring their yes, kids to yes. me, sir, that were losing their hair, had swollen bellies, saying, what's wrong with my child? Well, is this child starving, obviously. What I would do is I would have my staff take them to the store, get a year's supply of, of, of beans and flour and rice and so on, and send them home. And then two weeks later, they'd bring the baby back, and the baby would be fine. The hair would be growing back. Now. Not that I'm not tooting my horn. What I'm saying is, for that to actually happen in a country where people like Dean Barrow is, is putting hundreds of millions of dollars away uh, every few months, that's the tragedy, sir.
It, that, that's the real problem, and that's why I will not shut up about it. It so. is, it is, it is indeed, and I'll tell you what, everybody is against them. You, you should, you should tune in to, to the morning news, to the, to the talk shows in the morning. Yeah, well, I don't think that's going to get me anywhere, is it? So. Yeah, no, not so, but you should, you, 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 it will keep you informed, at least. Yeah, but listen, I'm not, I'm not suing them, and they keep sending people to collect me. What's going to happen if I piss them off even more? I'm going to take advice and just sit this out, as I always do, and hopefully they, they will not get elected back in. I can't, th I can't see that they could possibly be elected back in. I don't know. So I will not call you again and, and, and um, uh, claim that you were trying to, uh, but, to collect. But, but Johnny, you are, you are welcome. You are welcome to call. It's not a bother. Believe me, I, I, I sympathize with your cause. And there's a lot of people that also sympathize with your cause. Because there's so many times you came out on national TV giving away stuff, radios and so forth. For the country, you know, and they, they, everybody knows of those good things that you have done. Well, yeah, I, 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 maybe I didn't do everything good, but I did, I did give at least $10 million to the people. And that's what pissed everybody off. What really started this is when they came and said, Mr. Macri, you're doing this wrong. You don't understand the culture, the politics, the education system. Give the money to us, and we will give it to the people. Now, you know what's going to happen. Yeah. I give them $10 million, yeah. and 50000 maybe gets to the people, but only to the brothers and sisters of the people in power. So I wasn't going to do that. I refuse. That was and, wasn't smart, was it? And with the, with the, with the next, with the next code, yes. John, the next code, there would be people that I could tell you, look, you could talk to this guy, you could talk to this guy, I got you. or this guy, but all right. With the best people there right now, yeah. you're wasting your time. You're right. I, it's, it's, it was a foolish thought, actually, because I know who those people are. And I know how desperately they want me. So, anyway, sir, thank you for your time. And, and um, uh, we will keep in touch. All right. John, this is uh, a lot of people have uh, been worried about your health, and this yes. is the first time you've addressed those concerns. Oh yeah. Okay. So basically, I had a minor operation, which which turned into a little bit of more of a major thing. This dressing is from our intrepid war photographer Robert King, who is so OCD that he he uh, refused to continue filming because I was bleeding. So uh, thank you, Mr. Robert. You are a uh, lifesaver as usual. And um, so what would you like to, what, what is it say for your fans to know what happened? They missed you in, uh, I guess you were in Las Vegas. Yeah, I was in, yeah, I'm, I'm really sorry I couldn't talk in Las Vegas, but I was seriously incapacitated. Uh, and as for my fans, well, my life is going on as it always does with ups and downs and peaks and valleys. And I'm sort of in a, uh, depending on how you look at it, an adventure peak for the next few weeks. So, so you're on the mend. I'm on the men. Look, see what's happening here. See what's happening. Please, see what's happening. 